Good day people, today I bring you video 1 in the C Sharp Shorts series. So today I'm going to show you how to pull in arguments into with Streamerbot. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So this is the code, this code will be posted in the video description below. But ignoring the usings for that, now what we'll look at is just this bit. So as you see, line 9, this is how you pull in a variable, var, variable, and then you do args, what the argument's called, to string. Same with string, you can just put straight in, string, args, string, to string. Obviously what's in brackets, this will be edited for you, and whatever you put here will be edited for you, because you'll, you'll have your own names for things. The next one is a number, how do you pull a number into string? Well, you do like this, so we do int, so you send it to number, give you number a name, in this case number one, and then you do a convert dot to int 32. So capital C, capital T, capital I, and then in brackets you do the same as before. Args number to string. Same with double, except you're doing convert dot to double. Now a double is a number with a decimal, and same same with decimal, that's same to decimal. That's a number with decimal. So these these two lines are exactly the same, pretty much. Apart from if you need it needed to be double, then you use to double. If you need it to be decimal, you use to decimal. With decimals and doubles, you can control the amount of decimal places. So if you use decimal, you want to do one decimal place. It'll give you that. But Oh, I think that's the difference. I very, very rarely use decimals and doubles. Next one here is the time and date. So we've done time date time, and then we've done equals time date time. So date time time equals date time dot pass. So as you can see, it's still capital D, capital C dot capital P, and then obviously we're pulling in the time. So if we give from about time, as you can see, I give it time. Uh, there, just above me, and it'll pull it in. Next one is file path, and this is probably one you'll use the most often. Well, I did anyway. Is so you turn it a file path. So as you can see, we've done string file path args, and then we put this at symbol here, so that you don't need to do the double slashes. If you don't have that at there, when you do your file path like this, you'll need double slashes. But anyway, that's dot dot to string. Next one is bool, so we do bool equals bool, this time it is a lowercase b, but then dot capital P for pass, args bool, and that will return a true or false. So that is how you pull them in, that is how you put each one of them things in. Look, I don't want to go over them too much, because they want to be shot, but look, literally, this code over below, so if you know you need to pull in a bool, or you need to pull in a string, or a double, or a decimal, or a number, whatever, they're there for reference. This is how you pull in arguments into C sharp. So that's going to wrap it up today. And until next time, I will see you later.